You can see on the screen Lesson 1 The Earth in the Solar System NCRT book Standard 6 So we are going to discuss about this lesson today As you all know When the night sky is fully lighted up means the full size of moon we can see on the sky on the night sky uh, then that is called Purnima or full moon day and just after 15 days when it is black no moon is there in the sky you cannot see any moon in the sky that is Amabasa means new moon day so now next celestial bodies what is celestial bodies all the ob objects that you are uh, you can see in the sky called heavenly bodies or celestial bodies don't be confused they are stars planets satellites comets meteoroids meteors and asteroids so later on at the end of the um, chapter we will discuss detail about each of this the word celestial is derived coming from latin word celestis which means sky as you all know whatever which objects are find you can find in the sky that is called celestial bodies and that's why that latin word sky it the word derived from the latin word celestis our in a universe uh, 4600 million years ago stars and planets were formed from a giant cloud of gases in one video i have sent you how the big bang happened how the blasting explosion happened and then the matter uh, form and then how from the dust tiny dust and gas that uh, the cloud of gases and tiny dust particles these are called nebula and Nebula is a Latin word meaning dust and cloud. This nebula was spinning and had its own gravity. Like earth, the nebula also have uh, spinning, it's spinning and uh, had its own gravity also. The collision caused release of gases such as means the big pen happened. So that's why uh, after this explosion, lots of hydrogen helium uh, came out uh, and for that it, um, enough a huge amount of heat came out and thus the universe includes stars planet galaxies and other bodies within um, after this explosion that created one by one with this uh, explosion with the heat of the from the explosion the explosion was so powerful that matter is still spinning away from it and uh, with this matter then galaxy forms million of stars gas dust held together by the force of gravity from a gravity the universe consists of millions of galaxies millions of galaxies and our miller milk our uh, galaxy akash ganga the milky way galaxy one of them only and what I said, million of galaxies formed and our, our galaxy is just one of that. The galaxy is named so because it is like white band. As you can see on the screen, the galaxy is just like this white band and surrounding it, lots of dust and dust. You can see the star that is a pole star. There are so many stars you can see appear in the sky, but pole star appear to move from east to west due to the rotation of the earth on its own axis from west to east. Means pole star always moves from east. East means where the sun rises is to west. Why? Because earth's rota rotation its uh, earth rotate on its egg axis from west to east that's why it looks that uh, that is constellation uh, that is uh, i'm showing you constellation 
about the solar system. The family of sun, eight planets and approximately 173 satellites with many asteroids, comets, meteorites make up the solar system. Solar, what also derived from Latin words, that is solaris, which means sun. The solar system means family of sun. The sun in the center, from third class onwards, you have studied this. Anyway, once more I repeat, all planets and satellites revolve around it. It is the source of all energy, means from the sun only heat and energy comes to, goes to all the planets, all the stars and uh, the, our earth would become a cold and lifeless planet if it uh, situated far from the sun or if sun will be absent in the solar system means energy of sun you can see the glowing sun how it's glowing the gas of the sun the heat of the sun it's glowing and uh, you know earth is the third position from the sun and that's why that is a positive thing that's why earth is um, the life exists on the earth earth is a unique planet because life exists on the earth and because of this heat and light life uh, can be presence on the earth and of course because of oxygen presence of oxygen also the sun is made up of hydrogen and helium this is great deal of pressure at the center and it causes the release of enough amount of energy releases from this helium and hydrogen means whatever the glowing sun you are seeing on the screen that is made of hydrogen and helium because of that only lots of energy comes and far far away it reaches even on the earth also the surface temperature of the sun 6000 degrees Celsius and interior is at 20 million degrees Celsius you cannot imagine the distance between the Sun and earth is about 150 million kilometer you know 1 million means 10 lakh million is a uh, international system right remember fourth class you have study Indian system and international system so 1 million means 10 lakhs. So you can understand the distance from sun to earth 150 million kilometers. The light from the sun takes approximately 8 minutes to reach earth. Means sun se earth tak uska light pauchne mein kam se kam 8 minutes sama lagta hai. Okay. Planets. Our solar system consists of 8 planets. All of you know Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Separately I will send one small class um, that solar system video also. The planet move around the sun on fixed path and the path are elongated. Elliptical path you have studied in motion of the earth. The movement is called revolution. The paths on which they move are called orbits. The elliptical path that is called orbit each planet has its own fixed orbit every planet means this all planets have their own orbit they are going revolve around the earth on a particular their own planet okay and a planets revolve around the sun they also move around on their own axis that imaginary line own axis this movement is called rotation children uh, planets move around the sun in anti-clockwise direction, means west to east. Planets have no heat, no light of their own. They reflect the light of sun. Whatever the sun gives the light, that only planets reflect. The word planet means wanderer in Greek. Wanderer matlab, jo ghumte rahte hai, idhar udhar tahalte rahte hai, wander karte rahte hai. Planets were named so because they always seem to wander, always they are always they are evolving so that's why planets are named like that that is also Greek word I think all the words related to uh, solar system uh, came from 
origin from Greek word. There is also a story behind this. Okay, next, any other time I will say. Planet close to sun have smaller orbits as compared to planets further away from the sun. Children, uh, there are 170 satellites have been discovered in our solar system and uh, there are uh, the moon in is the earth's only satellite natural satellite the moon is the natural satellite of the earth and mercury and venus have no satellites jupiter has 67 satellite and saturn has 62 satellites you can uh, see this jupiter 67 satellite saturn has that is saturn 62 satellites these are the natural satellites now so many artificial satellites uh, people are sending on the space in the space to get the uh, photos and other connections net connections all this so scientists say that asteroids are bits and pieces of rock that were left when our solar system was made means when after big bang when the solar system made some uh, bits and pieces of rocks left there and that is asteroids which are now also it's uh, revolving it's going in the spaces they orbit the sun and are small rocky bodies means you can see on the screen rocky bodies and they are also having their own orbi orbit mean fixed path like the planets and they are revolving around the sun continuously this belt stretches from about 250 million to 600 million kilometer from the sun and from the far uh, 250 million to 600 million kilometer they are revolving around the sun and sometimes when they are going away from their orbit then it will be difficult for the planets any moment if from the gravity of the sun from gravity of this uh, asteroids it's move away then it comes it can hurt to any planets that will be then dangerous now next meteoroids meteoroids are smaller than comets they could be dust or chunks of rocks or comets or asteroids. Meteoroids means including asteroids also and smaller than comets. Meteoroids uh, that enter the Earth's atmosphere are called meteors. That crash upon the Earth are called meteorites meteorites usually meteorites burn up in the sky and disappear as gas and dust when they enter the earth's atmosphere you know there are a particular space occupied with the earth's atmosphere so when uh, it comes from the space to earth's atmosphere then these things happen meteorites are also called shooting stars that in the Hindi picture you have you might have seen uh, shooting stars usko deke pray karne se wo fal jata hai wo safal ho jata hai wo prayer so that is nothing that is actually in their scientist terms matters so we are studying the constellation. What is constellation? A group of stars which form a shape, a particular shape in the sky is known as constellation. So what is constellation? A group of stars, so many stars you can see, so they are called a group of stars which gives a particular shape in the sky is known as constellation and this uh, group of stars what figures they are making these uh, figures are giving name by the international astronomical union
each and every group of stars which are making this type of shape they are given the different different name like this uh, shape this is this shape is the name is orion or you can say the hunter this group of stars the constellation that is name orion and also the hunter and the another one this group of stars this is called ursa major or you can say the great bear question answer of ncert book how does a planet differ from a star stars are big and hot celestial bodies made up of gases they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts means uh, give up means give out uh, send to the automatically coming out uh, and go to the planets the heat and light and um, that's why you know earth become unique planet also and what planet planets are also celestial bodies but they don't have their own heat and light from where they are getting heat and light from the big star sun now what is meant by the solar system the sun eight planets the full family of sun satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids from the solar system name all planets according to their distance all of you know very uh, small class question that is very easy in order to their distance from the sun the eight planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune with this uh, write in your copy and with this uh, question left side you draw the solar system picture now next why is the earth called a unique planet very easy question third class question only the conditions are favorable to support life are probably present only the earth means in other eight planet there other planets there are this type of conditions oxygen light heat water not available and in earth it is available that's why earth is unique planet and life is possible on the earth the earth is neither too hot nor too cold why because it is the position third position in the solar system near uh, not very near to the sun not very far from the sun neither very far from the sun it has water and air which are very essential for our survival for exist life the air has life supporting gas like oxygen because of these reasons the earth is a unique planet in the solar system now the last one i think the before last why do we see only one side of the moon always the moon moves around the earth in about 27 days it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth what is universe a galaxy is huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases millions of such galaxies make up the universe thank you if you like the video like it and now till now till you subscribe it subscribe it